Moin. Und Hi and welcome to Watch and Work. Watch and Work is Contitech's service video series for automotive mechanics. In them you'll learn how to change timing belts on a wide range of vehicle engines, simply, safely and quickly. These videos show the key working steps for workshop pros. They might take a few minutes, but it's worth staying with them. You'll more than make up this time later on. My name is Stefan Meyer, by the way, and I'll show you a different engine in each video. Okay, let's go inside. Today I have a Renault Twingo for you, a 1.2-liter 16V engine with engine code D4F702 from model year 2001. For this we need our CT1045WP1 water pump kit and our Conti Toolbox VO2. I've already prepared this engine for you. You'll still need to remove a few things, of course. First, you have to remove the upper engine mount, the upper, middle and lower timing belt guards, and finally the crankshaft belt pulley. As always, the starting point is to put the engine in its default position, in other words, set cylinder 1 to TDC. For this, we have two marks on the engine, one on the crankshaft and the other at the top on the camshaft. In addition, lock the flywheel using the locking pin from the toolbox. The engine is now correctly set, so next you can loosen the tensioning pulley and remove the timing belt. When fitting the tensioning pulley, you need to note the correct fitting position. We have two lugs on the tensioning pulley, and these have to be correctly mounted on the engine. This timing belt has arrows indicating the running direction. With this engine, they are important. There are two marks on the belt. One mark goes on the crankshaft, the other on the camshaft. To fit the belt, start at the crankshaft sprocket. When fitting, please ensure that the line marked on the belt is aligned with the timing mark. The lower mark is now correctly positioned. Follow the same procedure with the upper mark. This involves placing the belt over the water pump and then over the camshaft sprocket. You've now correctly fitted the belt. Now watch carefully because we're going to tension the timing belt. To tension, remove the small pin from the tensioning pulley and the belt is then slightly pre-tensioned. You then need to tension the belt correctly via the tensioning pulley, using the hexagon socket here on the tensioning pulley. The important thing is to work counterclockwise. Turn the eccentric until the moving mark is positioned in the center of the recess. And this is the result if you don't tension in the correct direction. What happens? Our tensioning pulley ceases, the belt runs over the tensioning pulley, becomes hot because the pulley is not rotating, and the belt then disintegrates. You've now set the engine correctly. Time to check everything. To do this, turn the engine over six times at the crankshaft in the direction of engine rotation and then check the tension again. OK, you're almost there. You now just have to complete the engine. Please follow the manufacturer's specifications carefully, especially the torques. Remember, take it gently. Before you let this little babe back on the road, bear our quality stamp in mind. Place our change sticker in a clearly visible location in the engine compartment, so the customer also sees that you've installed quality.